It's Thursday morning, August the 5th, 2021. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and it is a privilege to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. God's Word is just inexhaustible, and it's impossible for us to plumb the depths of the wisdom of God found in the Scriptures. In Proverbs chapter 14, verse 10, we read these words. The heart knoweth his own bitterness, and a stranger doth not intermeddle with his joy. And from a person's bitterness to their joy, the Bible says these things are fairly secret, and a person keeps them to himself a lot of times. Bitterness and joy, and yet the implication here is that even though the heart of man can be a real mystery to other people, The conclusion that we would draw from this is that God knows. God knows. He knows all things. The deepest burdens, God knows. The greatest joys, God knows. The things that we struggle with the most, God already knows. I love Psalm 139 that talks about the fact that he's everywhere. Whither shall I go from thy presence, from thy spirit? Wherever I am, you're there, and you know me thoroughly. God knows our heart thoroughly. What a blessing that is. In some cases, that could be a burden that we can't hide anything from him. But ultimately, it's a blessing because we can never say nobody understands because it's not true, and maybe no human person could understand exactly what we're thinking or feeling. But God knows thoroughly and completely, and he certainly does understand. He knows everything about us. He knows all the machinations of our heart. He knows every hair on our head. He knows when a sparrow falls to the ground. God knows. The Lord knows it all. And so we can easily and we can readily confide in him because he already knows. We can't say anything to the Lord that he doesn't know already. And yet he wants us to talk to him. He wants us to bear our soul before him. He wants us to be humble before him. And when we confess our sins, the Bible says he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And there's never a time when God says, oh, I didn't know that. Because he already knew from the bitterness of our heart to our great joy, the Lord knows it all. And he loves us just the same. He loves us regardless. What a blessing. You can trust the Lord. You can take him all of your burdens and leave them there. You can entrust your very soul, your eternal spirit, your life with the Lord. He understands, he knows, and he is well capable of handling all of those life situations. I love Hebrews chapter 4, where the last couple of verses in the chapter 15 and 16 say that that we don't have a high priest who can't be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He understands because he suffered all these things, yet without sin. He's tempted like in all ways, like as we are, yet without sin. And so therefore we can come boldly to the throne of grace and find grace and mercy to help in time of need. Just take your burden to the Lord. He understands. He loves you. He knows you. God bless you today.